Well, 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 dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. It is a great, 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 great day. Yes, Tuesday night here in Southeast Asia. I'm still excited because after we won our game. Look, many are talking about the negativities only. I have seen a lot of positives in our game we play. And so I'm focused on the positives. I still have the negatives in my mind that we need to correct. But the fact remains that we need to celebrate this season. This day, we need to celebrate it. So I'm still excited about the, our win yesterday. Chelsea 6, Everton 0. Yeah, four goals by Cole Palmer, one by Nicholas Jackson, and then the last one by the young man, Alfred Gilchrist, the defender. The homegrown defender, Alfred Gilchrist. So I'm excited about it. You need to be excited also about it. You don't have to allow the negativity. Not every time we must talk about negatives only. No. This time around, we need to celebrate the great, the good things as well. Let's get started. Chelsea are three points off sixth place with a game in hand and are also one point off eighth with two games in hand. You get it? Yeah. We are three points off the sixth position. Sixth position is Europe, Europa League football. That means we are entering Europe if we are able to. Dear friend, football has really changed a lot. And you just have to respect Jose Moreno. He is one of the best managers with some unforgettable football coats. Kopama is 21 years old. Nicolas Jackson is 22 years old. Noni Madreke is 22 years old. We call them kids today. But, but Messi won his first Ballon d'Or at the age of 22. Messi won his first Ballon d'Or at the age of 22. Ronaldo Nazario won his first Ballon d'Or at the age of 21. Jose Moreno, this is what he, has, he, he said. And I quote, I have to adapt to what young players are now. Lampard at 23 was a man. Players now at 23 aren't men. They are brats. They are brats. Players today at 23 aren't men. They are brats. Lampard at 23 was a man. Dear friend, yes. This current squad, that is what we are, we are, we be saying. They are, they are young. They are young team because they are 21, they are 22. They are young team. Any incident that took place, whatever that happened, you said the team is still young. <laughs> uh, look, from what we've seen yesterday, in yesterday's game, it tells me, and it should tell you also, that these players, they are not young players as we think. These players can deliver on a good day if we want them to deliver. With a good tactician, a good formation, good tactics, they can deliver. And there is only one reason why yesterday's game was different. Why we were able to score four goals in the first half and we did not concede a single goal. There is only one reason. Dear friend, you want to know the reason? Follow me. Let's move on. We had a clean sheet. You know that? Yes. And it's only one reason. There is only one reason. And the reason is, dear friend, we played Conor Gallagher alongside Moise Kasaido. It made the defense solid. It helped to stabilize the defense. It protected the defense. By the time the ball gets to the defensive area, to our, uh, to our area, these two guys, they are already working hard. Look at the work rate of Conor Gallagher yesterday. Just look at it. Check Casado. In a very long time, Casado has never played a game like last night. Looking at the numbers from last night's game, dear friend, Conor Gallagher quietly produced one of the best defensive midfield performances from any Chelsea midfielder this season. Yeah. Yes. Conor Gallagher, he produced one of the best defensive midfield performances from any Chelsea midfielder in, in this season. Why? He partnered with Casado in that area. It wasn't Enzo. Enzo is very good. But the partnership with Casado, it's not working. They both are not working together the way they're supposed to do. As Galaga, Galaga did with, with Casado last night. Well, somebody said I shouldn't 
over emphasize on that. So let me leave that. But I believe you got my message very clearly. It is all about tactics. Whatever that happens to this squad going forward from the, our next game going forward, it all boils down to the coach, Pochettino. Yes. Nicholas Jackson is trying to finish the season with 15 or more Premier League goals and feel that 20 in all competitions may even be achievable, which may well explain why he was keen to take the penalty last night. Jackson has now equaled the number of league goals Didi Drogba scored in his first season at Chelsea and is only three behind Drogba's full total of 16, according to Matt Law. Well, it is late in the night and here, yeah, before I go, dear friend, you see, in the game yesterday, Casado dominant, Casado dominated the game, like I said earlier on. Kopama just outstanding and out of this world with his touches. First half was a perfect hat trick for Kopama. Noni Madreke looked great last night as well. I'm not here to give them six, seven, eight, nine, no. Makasaido was dominant yesterday. Palmer was outstanding with his world class touches. First half perfect hat trick. Noni looked great. Chaloba and Thiago Silva keeping the defense on. They did extremely well yesterday. Thiago Silva and Chaloba. The partnership was just excellent. Galaga playing very well. His DM role that he played yesterday was outstanding. He was outstanding. He was still in that midfield yesterday, Galaga, alongside Casado. Jackson showing a lot of promises. Feel free to add your own thoughts on that. Feel free and add what you think. Let me hear from you in the comment section, dear friend. Yes. Before I let you go, before I let you go quickly, let me tell you what Kopama has said. Kopama on growing bond with Chelsea fans. He said, I feel like we are building a relationship so fast because of the amount of minutes they've given me. What I have done, scoring so many goals and assists. The fans have taken to me well, and I just like coming to the training every day and going to the Stamford Bridge. You see, he's feeling the vibe with the fans. That is why every moment, every time, you feel like just go to the training ground. Let me go and play game. Let me go. I want to entertain the fans. That is a feeling of a player right now, Kopama. And that is why I believe the best is yet to come out of Kopama. Well, in conclusion, Pochettino's best night as Chelsea manager was last night. In my, in my thinking, one of his best nights was last night. Not just because it was 6-0, but there were some actual nice patterns of play. Plus, his post-game quotes were on point. Still not convinced yet. I'm still not convinced about him yet, totally. It will take a lot of more, a lot, a lot more time for me to be convinced about his work. But he deserves some credit for last night's performances by the players. Yeah. And let me also point out, at the post-match reaction, at the press conference, at the press conference, Mauricio Pochettino was heckled by a journalist in his post-match Everton press conference after he became frustrated over repeated questions regarding the penalty incident. That is a video that I wanted to watch. Because of copyright issue, I might not play it for long or you might not even see it at all. But he, in the press conference yesterday, he was being heckled by, by, by a journalist. He was angry because the same question kept coming and kept coming, kept coming and kept coming about the penalty issue. Some journalists, they just want to capitalize on that. They are not seeing the positive side of the game. All they are seeing is the negative. And it became an issue last night at the press match, you know, press conference. Porch wasn't happy about it. So he walked out of the press conference. Dear friend, it's late. Let me leave you here. I will see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.